We begin tonight with a developing story. A person hurt after suffering an animal bite at the Henry Dorley Zoo and Aquarium. Good evening, I'm Brandi Peterson. This evening, we know the animal involved was a Komodo dragon. This is file video from 2013 when one of the animals went on display there. KETV News Watch 7's Dave Roberts has been working to get more information. He has our coverage now at 5:30. The good news: that woman zookeeper who was bit on the hand by a young Komodo dragon will be okay. She's home right now with a few stitches, and we're told a good dose of antibiotics. Three Komodo dragons now call the Henry Dorley Zoo home. One in a habitat in the cat complex, and two young 10-pound animals not officially on display, living in the sunroom at the Desert Dome. One of these females bit a woman working inside the cage on top of her hand. The zoo nurse determined the keeper needed immediate medical attention. She went to the hospital in critical condition. She was just concerned because she couldn't stop the bleeding on the person's hand. So once the bleeding was stopped and she was at the hospital, everything was fine. The antibiotics are very important. We're told the bacteria in a Komodo dragon's mouth can cause serious, sometimes deadly infections. The zoo tells us it will reevaluate how it works with those young Komodo dragons to make sure that future instances like this don't ever happen. At the Henry Dorley Zoo, Dave Roberts, KETV, News Watch 7. Thank you, Dave.